That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It is the first human footstep on the moon, and the world is forever changed. Fantastic feeling. It was one of great accomplishment. It was almost miraculous. We did come in peace for all mankind. For eons, the moon is Earth's only satellite, orbiting our planet in a silent vigil. But the hush of space is broken in 1957 by Sputnik, an agent of the Soviet Union. Immediately, everyone thought, well, they're now able to really send their, their military machines around the world. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin scores another Soviet victory as the first human in space. The U.S. answers a month later when Alan Shepard flies the first mission of the Mercury program. This nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Godspeed, John Glenn. Project Mercury is the first small step towards meeting the president's audacious goal. The single most important factor was that man could survive and perform as well at zero gravity as he could at 1G. Zero G and I feel fine. Gemini was our attempt to bridge our lack of experience from Mercury. We set out, number one, to rendezvous in space, to dock with another vehicle in space, to have a controlled re-entry with a, with a computer, and to do extravehicular activities. Gemini 12, Houston Capcom, new EVA record, beautiful job. Two months after the final flight of Gemini, Goss Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee are preparing to be the first Apollo astronauts. On January 27th of 1967, the crew is in the capsule, conducting a countdown rehearsal. America's space program suffers a piercing loss of life. 20 months later, with a redesigned capsule, Apollo 7 roars off the pad for an 11-day shakedown. What was a disaster with Apollo 1 turned out to be a, a real triumph with Apollo 7. We have liftoff. The original plan was for Apollo 8 to be a, a North orbit test, uh, but uh, the lunar module wasn't ready. And so the decision was made to um, actually do a, a circumnavigation of the moon. We were the first three people to leave the confines of the Earth and be captured by another body. First time three people saw the far side of the moon uh, live, and the first time that we saw the Earth from 240,000 miles away. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good Earth. During Apollo 9's 10-day mission in Earth orbit, the first lunar module is put through its paces. The machine is now ready for lunar orbit. This is really a rugged planet. But the Apollo 10 crew will not get moon dust on their boots. The mission is to test the approach to a lunar landing. Roger, fantastic, Charlie, fantastic. I felt like I had to pick up my feet to keep from dragging my, my heels on the top of those mountains. And we'll see you right on the other side in orbit. Apollo 11 Commander Neil Armstrong, Command Module Pilot Michael Collins, and Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin will be the first crew to attempt a moon landing. Moon fever is rampant. 10, 9, ignition sequence start.
when that rumble came across the ground. It was like somebody was putting their hands on your chest and pressing. And I was cheering just like everybody else was. Capcom, we're go for landing. As the lamb pitches into an upright position about a mile above the moon's surface, Armstrong sees a field of boulders. He takes control with fuel running out. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. At 60 seconds, we're still 100 feet up. I was nervous. Okay, at 30 seconds, we were 10 feet. I figured we had it made. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Yeah, I'm gonna step off the lamb now. Neil Armstrong steps off the foot pad of the lunar lander and ends the race to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Here, men from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, AD. It came in peace for all mankind. Lift off. NASA launches six more missions to the moon. I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. I'm not sure we can get hit by lightning. Apollo 12 overcomes a lightning strike at launch to execute a pinpoint landing near the Surveyor 3 probe. And we landed, and the first thing Pete did when he got out was go around and looked and see if Surveyor was in that crater. Go Surveyor, yes sir. <laughs> Does that look neat? Apollo 13. Astronaut James Lovell's second trip to the moon. Oh, here's the we've had a problem. The explosion of an oxygen tank in the service module has damaged several key systems. We never had discussed the possibility of uh, not surviving or getting back to the Earth. It was probably in all of our minds. With a crippled command module, they have to make their way back to Earth using the lunar module dubbed Aquarius. The safe return of Apollo 13 will always be remembered as the space team's finest hour. There's good stuff. Okay, yeah, looking great. Alan Shepard returns to spaceflight 10 years after becoming America's first astronaut to command Apollo 14. He also manages to become the first golfer on the moon. Two miles is all the Apollo 14 astronauts are able to walk. It's kind of like wandering around in the sand dunes, and one sand dune looks about like the other. But Apollo 15 has wheels. This is really a rock and roll ride, isn't it? The crew drives 17 miles with the rover, exploring many interesting sights. Come on out here and give me a salute. Big Navy salute. Apollo 16 is the fifth time an American crew explores the lunar surface. Ah, here he comes, folks. He's got the hammer out. Science was certainly in the front seat. Of the six landings on the moon, the last three, I think, were devoted completely to the science of it. Take your little trench here. Apollo 17 is the program's final mission to the moon. It lands in the narrow valley of Taurus Litro. That was the only chance we were going to have to really get that intimate a look at uh, that kind of geology. There is boring soil. Well, don't move it till I see it. As the last Apollo astronaut on the moon, Commander Gene Cernan looks into the future. This valley of history has uh, seen mankind complete its first evolutionary steps into the universe. Back there is the Earth multicolored blues of the oceans, the whites of the snow and the cloud you see from pole to pole, cross oceans, every 12 hours you look at the other side of the world. It truly is an ongoing, overpowering experience. Houston, right away, Houston. Today, we're on our way back to the moon, when crews make new footprints on that dusty surface. They will stay longer explore farther, and learn more than could ever be hoped for 
on that July day in 1969 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made that breathtaking first landing. Whether it's my foot on the moon or, or one of my classmates or you know somebody from my generation is gonna do it and I just, I think it's great. We can actually really explore the moon. It's a, it's a whole new planet, a whole new world to go explore. And as the centuries unfold, we'll go many, many places, but this is the first, and this needs to be remembered as one of the wonderful things of the 20th century. It is a great adventure.